Hi, I'm Kevin Dixon. I'm one of the pastors at Journey Church, and thanks for joining me on the Journey Update, which we're doing now on Tuesdays. Just a quick video to tune you in into what's going on. And probably the biggest thing that's going on right now is that we're still on track for our building to open on August 16th. And we are planning on sending out a survey in the next couple of days to gauge the interest in who wants to come to a gathering in person and what that might look at look like. So please, um, when you get that survey, fill it out, send it back. It's only going to take you a minute. There's just options that you can choose and it'd be great. It will help us during this time uh, to make decisions as to how many gatherings we should have and the times and how many people would be wanting to attend. This is going to be fluid depending on interest and attendance. We will continue to offer our online gathering as well as our on-campus options during that time outside, like on the patio, weather permitting, FM radio in your car. But we will not at this point be offering children's ministry until we get a few trial runs of a gathering on a Sunday morning under our belts and see how it goes. We are so excited to see you and to open our new building. But we are continuing to offer our daily Journey Now podcasts, our 10,000 minute texts, our Wednesday Instagram interviews, and our weekly newsletter. So you can stay in touch with us. All of this you can sign up for at journeytn.com on our website. Um, also a quick update on our search for a teaching pastor. We have a couple of interviews lined up and are excited about the interest that people are having in this position. So if you have ideas or thoughts, please send them to me at kevin at journeytn.com. Thank you for con continuing to give financially to Journey. Your faithfulness has encouraged us. And with that, while life sometimes seems to be more difficult than it needs to be, and you find yourself wondering what God is thinking, may I encourage you with the words that Apostle Paul gave the Thessalonica church in 1 Thessalonians 5. He said, rejoice always, pray continually, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It doesn't say be happy, it says rejoice. Give thanks, be praying, stay connected to Jesus. And if we are staying connected, it is so much easier to rejoice and be thankful. My prayers are with you, our staff's prayers are with you, and God is for you. We'll see you soon.